Well, hello there. I've been hearing you've been having headaches. I've been hearing you've been getting paid. And I've been hearing that you've been getting rashes on your feet. Because nobody likes a rash on their feet. And no, they don't. So what you need to do is come down to the Autumn Pharmacy and we'll cure that headache. Oh, yes, we will. We'll cure that rash on your feet. Oh, yes, we will. And we will also, oh, yeah, we will also cure that pain. So get down to Autumn Pharmacy today because we're here to beat and kill the pain. Next day on NTV, you could be a lucky winner with the National Lottery. Gentlemen, welcome to the Minecraft Country National Lottery with your host, Josh Backer. There is two lotteries tonight, the Gold Lottery and the Silver Lottery. The Gold Lottery will be, pay will be playing for a winning of 1 million diamonds. The Silver Lottery will be playing for a winning of 500,000 diamonds, which you guys have all been hopefully buying your lottery tickets from all stores and supermarkets around the Minecraft country. In this show of the lottery tonight, we will be reading out numbers from the gold lottery and the silver lottery, which also means that two lucky people will win the lottery. One will win the gold lottery and the other will win the silver lottery. If they win the gold or the silver lottery, that means they get every penny promised to them and they will have a life-changing life if they win the lottery here tonight but first of all i just have to give you a little bit of travel news and weather updates so first of all travel news going down the a1 leaving kingston city uh, heading down towards los ashley's it's very busy there is a few delays as they're actually widening one of the lanes so that road will be closed for a very short space of time and also the Conrad Street in Los Ashley's will be closed on Sunday the 5th of August to do with a marching band um, who are actually doing a marching band in honour of the brave soldiers what fought in the great battlefield war and also the highway just outside of the Los Ashley's International Airport will be very very busy as there is some delays due to um, one of the lanes getting re and you will have to be diverted and it will be very busy traffic moving on to the weather the weather is going to be looking very sunny for the Minecraft country some areas will be a bit cloudy but it is going to mostly stay dry for the weekend with a temperature of about 20 degrees some places you might feel the need to take your top off maybe hit the beach other places it'll just be nice to open your windows for a bit and let some of the air in maybe have a walk into town it's a definitely uh, getting about and doing things kind of weather moving up onto the Isle of Steve again it's going to be dryish there might be a few showers in places but it is mainly going to stay fine it is mainly going to stay dry it won't be as sunny as you will be seeing on the minecraft country and plane travels across to the isle of steve and ferry uh, fares and boats will be running as usual okay so let's get on to the lottery Starting out with the silver lottery here tonight, which is going to be playing for 500,000 diamonds. A lot of diamonds to be playing for there, so hopefully you've got your lottery tickets ready, and hopefully you are there ready to see whether you have won. Remember, this lottery, this silver lottery, even though it's not as much as the gold lottery, can still change someone's life in just a flick of them to levers. So I'm going to flick them two levers and then I am going to read a series of numbers which are going to be on the sign so I am flicking them now and I'm going to move over and reveal the numbers so going over to the first number on the sign we have the number one as you can see there 
Moving over, we have the number 39 as the second number. Moving on to our next number is the 42. Then we have the 53. We also then have 84. 29 and then we have the golden number as 100 so if you got all of these numbers then you have become the lucky winner for 500 thousand diamonds so hopefully you did it hopefully it was good luck to you if you did win then you can obviously call in the number on 0800 2575 for free and tell us that you have won so we are going to be going over to the gold lottery next over here to get ready for the gold lottery so the gold lottery is going to be playing for one million diamonds the big one million diamonds such a life-changing event here so if you have got all the numbers on your gold lottery ticket as you know it will be in a goldish color if you have all the numbers right you will be the lucky winner and you will have got the one million diamonds so remember you can ring up that phone number and you can tell us that you won if you are the lucky winner and if you have lost then there is no need to worry because we do the lottery every single week so you do not have to miss out so if you don't win this time you can buy a lottery ticket and try again next week so same as the silver lottery i am going to be pulling these two levers which will be releasing a series of numbers and we will be reading the numbers out and if we get the numbers right if you have them all obviously you are the winner so i am going to pull the two levers now releasing the numbers and we come on to our first number here which is 69 the first number is 69 on the lottery the gold lottery here tonight we then move on to 52 as you can see there then we have 24 88 56 and then the gold number is 150 so as you can see there we have the gold lottery read out for you there so if you have all them numbers you will be the lucky winner and if you didn't all I can say is better luck next time so if you would like to stick around and join us after the break we will be speaking to a couple of people what won the lottery and we're going to be speaking to them on just how it changed their life so join us after the break where we will find out how the lottery changed people's life all right there me wee pals i just had a wee accident but it was okay though because i went down to los ashley's hospital it was a wee bit chilly inside but they got all my cuts and all my bruises and they fixed them all up and i was feeling a wee bit better so that's me scottish steve and i went down to the la hospital to get all my cuts and bruises a wee bit better if you want to get your cuts and bruises a wee bit better then you can come down to the LA hospital today and get all your cuts and bruises not just a wee bit better but a hundred times better yeah man Welcome back to the Minecraft Country National Lottery with your host Josh Backer. Before the break we read out the silver lottery and we read out the gold lottery. The silver lottery offering you a winning of 500,000 diamonds and the gold lottery offering you the winnings of 1 million diamonds. So in the middle of the break I had the phone calls confirming the winners and I can now say that the winnings go to Josh Hill and Sarah Bigfoot so they both won the lottery Sarah Bigfoot won the silver lottery and Josh Hill won the gold lottery so now we are going to be talking to two people 
whose life got changed when they won the lottery now the first person i am going to be speaking to has become a multi-millionaire a very successful businessman as a matter of fact he did not take the easy retirement when he won the lottery he put every penny towards making his business bigger better and stronger so welcome ladies and gentlemen we have jamie loveridge owner of sbsc hi welcome to the lottery sir you won the lottery about three years ago now i believe yeah. and how has it changed how has it changed your life i mean you are a very changed man now So you put all your lottery winnings to the business. You didn't just, you know, spend it on cruise ships and fancy cars and mansions. You put it all towards your business. So how did you feel when you won the lottery, you know, when you had that ticket and you realised it was the winning ticket? Yeah. You, so which lottery did you win? Was it the gold lottery or the silver lottery? So, oh, okay. Well, uh, that's... Uh, so it obviously really changed your life. How did it change your family's life? Your dad, your mum, you know, your wife or whatever, whatever goes down. Aye. So he would have been happy and, uh, yeah. So which store did you buy the ticket from? I mean, that shopkeeper must have been to sell you that winning ticket. Oh, oh, spa. Well, that little spa shop then uh, would have been obviously um, really pleased uh, to sell you that ticket. Have you uh, been trying to win the lottery again ever since or haven't you needed to? Uh, you see, but would you encourage people to, to do the lottery because some people say it's a waste of time and you'd never win? Yeah, I mean, I suppose you never know until you uh, buy a ticket, do you? So, you know, get them uh, winning numbers. Obviously, two people uh, won here tonight. Uh, the Silver Lottery and the Gold Lottery. Uh, Josh Hill and Sarah Bigfoot, they're the two new winners. Uh, thanks for being on the show, telling us about how the lottery changed your life. Hopefully, you enjoy the rest of your career in the trucking. All right, thanks for uh, being here. We'll uh, catch you maybe another time. Who knows when you'll be on TV for something else. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, so that was SBSC owner, CEO, Jamie Loveridge, who has put a lot of effort into his trucks, building trucks, selling trucks, making trucks, designing trucks, giving the trucks the cool colours, everything you need to know. So we are going to be speaking to another person next, so stay tuned to see that going to be talking to is someone who actually didn't win the lottery that long ago he used to do the video advertisements for SBSC explaining about the dealership advertising all the new trucks and vehicles on TV he then left and retired when he found out that he was a winner of the Minecraft Country National Lottery welcome everybody we have athlete Steve Welcome, Athlete Steve. Hey, yo, my bros, what's going down? Uh, it's Athlete Steve. Uh, yeah, thanks for having me on the show. Uh, it's really great to be here. Haven't been on TV much since winning the lottery, you know. Athlete Steve's very happy. Okay, so uh, how did you feel when you won the lottery? Uh, well, you know, I just couldn't believe it. I'd just been getting up, eating my breakfast, brushing my teeth, going to work, coming back home, shagging my wife, then getting up next day, doing the same old thing. 
and uh, you know to win that lottery and uh, get the winning numbers it's just absolutely amazing like a peanut raisin so yeah okay so did you win the gold or the silver lottery uh, well you know when I bought the lottery ticket I thought you know I ain't fucking around so I went for the gold lottery ticket having no clue out of my mind that I was gonna win you know and uh, I just sat there reading each number I had to keep reading through it I was so shocked I was thinking no this can't be right this can't be right and I shouted my wife downstairs you know said look babe I've won the lottery and she didn't believe it she had to read put her glasses on then we had to ring her mom to come round and she had to look at the ticket and you know we were just so shocked it uh, changed our lives you know okay so uh, what do you do for a living now I mean are you retired uh, well I just basically chill out um, I bought a caravan and a yacht for me and the wife and the family to uh, you know go round and go on holidays uh, my wife's expecting twins we started to get a little family now we've got a little bit of money and you know um, I really enjoyed my time as the SBSC advert company you know buying new trucks and the bikes because I really like motorbikes I actually bought a SBSC motorbike and uh, you know I really enjoyed it but now I'm just living the happy life doing what the heck I want so you know it's really great okay so would you encourage people to to do the lottery you know because a lot of people say that the lottery doesn't work and you never really win uh you know uh, i'd really encourage people to play the lottery uh, you might not win but there again you don't know till you try and you know i've been doing the lottery for years before i won just hoping each week that i get a ticket win sometimes i've been close sometimes i not even get a number sometimes i get angry and rip my lottery ticket up but you've just got to keep trying and playing you know you don't know till you try so i definitely encourage people to play the lottery you know and uh keep going doing what you do and uh, you never know, you might become a lucky winner and have your life uh, changed like me, Athlete Steve, has done. Okay, well, uh, thanks for being on the show with us. Uh, great to uh, get your opinions and, you know, find out how uh, the lot rate changed your life. So, yeah, okay, uh, thanks for having me on the show. Um, you know, for having me on the show, uh, I'll lend you a little bit of money, you know, because uh, it's a real pleasure to be here, and uh, I'll see you around. All right, well, I'll see you later then. Goodbye. Okay, so that was Athlete Steve. As you can see, his life was incredibly 100% changed from winning the lottery so join us next week where we will be reading out the gold lottery and the silver lottery so get your tickets ready for next week because you never know if you could be the lucky winner like sarah bigfoot or josh hill or sbsc owner jamie loveridge or athlete steve thank you for watching i've been josh backer and we'll see you all next time Next day on NTV, we go with Jasmine Greenhouse for Loving Your Garden.